Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us his truth through the Holy Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, pretty much, you know, through the spirit, I was looking for a lesson to do. And this is going to be a real simple lesson. But um, it was a situation that just happened to me. Well, a situation that occurred to me <clears throat> while I was in the store. And um, I saw a Jake that I know, you know, and uh, he was ringing up his food. And um, I went up to him and I was joking with him. I'm like, I'm like, you know, what you about to cook up, man? You know. You can't cook, you know, we joking around and shit. And I noticed that in his uh in his he said he was making um an impossible lasagna. Okay, because you know, Esau has this impossible meat out here. And I said, You making a uh, impossible lasagna? He said, Yeah. He said, I don't eat meat. So I looked in his cart and he had shrimp, he had uh crab. Um, and he had some other stuff, but the shrimp and the crab was, you know, the abominable things that he had in his cart. And when he said, I don't, he said, I don't eat meat. I said, well, you about to go eat that crab meat. You know, joke. I was joking with him. You about to go eat that crab meat. And then he goes on to say, um, yeah, man, this, you know, it's, it's a bottom feeder. I know I shouldn't be eating it. I'm like, oh, and you know you're not supposed to be eating it? I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. You know you're not supposed to be eating it, and you still going to eat it? And then he was like, chill, man, chill, you know, because through, through, in, in his spirit, he knows that he's guilty. See, Jake, they know through the spirit that they're guilty, man, but they still do things to please their flesh, you know? And that's why Yahweh Shai said, I'm going to judge you according to your ways. All right. When you read Ezekiel seven, that's talking to you Israelites. He's going to judge you according to your ways and according to your abominations. So he said, yeah, man, I, I, I know I shouldn't be eating. And he even called it a bottom feeder, man. So Jake will go home, put seasoning on it, you know, butter it up, put lemons around it, make a seafood broil. But they know that this is a, a, a bottom feeder. OK, it serves its purpose in the ocean. But they'll still eat it. And ultimately, it goes back to them just because you're wicked, man. You're wicked. All right. A lot of you guys are wicked, man. And this don't even look this don't even look like something you should eat, man. Look at this damn crab, man. And I've done many lessons on dietary law, man. OK. So when he said that, yeah, I know I ain't even supposed to eat it. It's a, it's a bottom feeder. You had shrimp up in there, crab, but you won't eat no meat, but you'll eat, uh, <laughs> you know, you won't eat a steak, but you'll eat a crab. You'll eat a piece of shrimp. You know, you won't eat a piece of chicken, but you'll eat ab abominable foods, which really shows you through the spirit that Jake is ass backwards, man. All right. Jake is ass backwards. And, and the Lord is going to judge you Israelites for breaking the dietary laws as well. You're going to be a judge. You're going to be judged according to your ways, man. You know, especially if you know, because Jake, you know, he seemed like he was conscious of what he was doing, man. All right. But he's still going to go home and boil that shit and eat it up. Ezekiel seven and one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came into me, saying, also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord unto the land of Israel and end is come. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. Okay? And that's why the scriptures say, he that is uh, filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, man. You know, Jake just does shit, you know, hey, and we're living in the end. We're living in the end times, man, so... The most high is just going to start executing you, Jakes, man. You know, because eating those foods are it's an abomination, man. I don't know how many times I done read Leviticus 7, but hey, man, I mean, Leviticus 11. 
But hey, man, we got to keep reading and reading and reading. Then we'll keep doing it because ultimately it has to be edifying through the spirit. Leviticus 11 and 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So it has to have fins and scales, but ultimately goes into certain types of fish, man. All right? The Lord made certain types of fish for us to eat. Anything else, don't touch that shit. It serves its purpose in the Most High's uh, uh, waters, man. See, when the Most High created the waters and the oceans... All right. The rivers. He created certain uh, 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 creatures to go in there to serve its purpose for the Earth's ecosystem. But what does Esau allow you to do? He'll take that shit out the water. Crab, shrimp, mussels, lobster, crawfish, and he'll sell it to you, man, at a very high price and tell you it's a delicacy. So a nigga will get some extra food stamps or we eating crab legs tonight. You know, being you, you're being abominable, man. You're being abominable. And at this point, the Most High has his prophets out there. A lot of you. And look, man, a lot of you Israelites, you know, you're eating bullshit, but you still do it, man. Because you're stiff necked. And all that have not fins and scales, verse 10, in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And then it even goes into the fowls, man. So when he's when when that Jake told me, yeah, man, I, I know it's a bottom, but you're still buying it, man. And see, Jake, they're not going to get it until until they get judged, man. See, when a nigga gets judged and, and something starts to happen to him, then he wants to get it. You know, then he wants to get it. And it's something as is. And I'm not even going to say it's small. You know, but that's why that's why a lot of our people are sickly, because they eat abominable foods, man. You know, so, hey, man, you know, Jake, Jake is just hard headed, man. And once that happened. You know, this situation happened about 10 minutes ago, man. I said, you know what? Let me do a quick video on that, man, because that could be edifying, you know, because there's always still new uh, people, you know, coming into the truth, especially in these latter times. People are still learning. OK, and these type of videos still need to be made, man. You know, so I want to say all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that taught us this truth. And shalom to the elect. All right. Stay away from this crap, man. Because, hey, it's even some jakes out there that's just coming into the truth, but you still may eat certain things in the world. Stay away from this stuff. Get away from it. It's an abomination into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this society promotes this type of behavior. This is wickedness if you if you eat these things. It's wickedness. I don't give a damn what your pastor tell you. The Most High said don't eat it. You know? Shalom.